What's going on guys, Ability here, and today I'm bringing you with a video on how to get all 46 Intel locations in the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. There's five on this first map, which is Black Tuesdays. The first one's going to be right after the plane crashes into the building. You want to go into this little bedroom, and it's going to be in the corner on the ground. The easiest way to get all these, if you just want to speed through the campaign, is to play on Recruit. And that's just going to be the easiest way if all you're looking for is the intel. But the second one's going to be once you jump off that little staircase and you're in a jewelry shop, it's going to be on that little desk. The third one's located after you kill all the guys outside. And once you regroup with your teammates, it's going to be by all these little blue windows on this little table. The fourth intel is found on the stock exchange floor level. And it's just going to be at the very back at the very last kiosk on your right. And the fifth one for this map is going to be once before you got to blow up the satellite tower, you're going to want to kill off all the enemies and then go to the very right side and the last intel on this map is going to be on the very right on that table. The second chapter, Hunter Killer has two intel and it's going to, the first one's going to be at the very beginning. You're just going to want to take a right before you go into that red door and it's going to be on that table. The second one is going to be where you see all these red little tower little things. This guy won't move because he's an asshole. But what you're going to do is you're going to climb up these yellow stairs on the right and just go to the very back. And I don't know what I was shooting at right there, but it's going to be hidden in this little corner. And that's the two intel for this map. For the third chapter, Person and Non Grata, there's going to be four intel. After you clear out all the courtyard enemies, you're going to just want to go into this little kind of corridor area. And it's going to be on the crate. And that's the first intel. For the second intel, after you almost get hit by a car, you want to go about halfway down the map and then go into this little house and it's going to be in this little room in the back on a nightstand. For the third intel, right after Price pulls this little tank out of the little crate, you're going to want to go behind Price and pick up the intel on the little barrel behind him. For the last intel on this chapter, after you get in the tank and go through this map, you're going to come back here and you're just going to try and run for your life. The intel is going to be at this little play set. You're going to have to climb up the ladder. I almost died right there, but still got the intel, which was on top of it. On the next map, which is called Turbulence, there's going to be two intel on this map. Right after you kill all the enemies, you're going to want to go down the stairs, and the intel is going to be in this little kitchen area. The second intel in this chapter is going to be right after you crash, you're going to want to hop over this little log. And the intel is pretty hard to find. It's facing the opposite way, but it's going to be on the ground right below you. On the next chapter, back on the grid, there's going to be three intel. After you snipe all the enemies to help price and soap up to that little factory, you're going to be running up here, 360, teabag the cow, start running again, no scope it, and then you're going to keep on running a little bit and just go up to where the factory is. And you're going to want to take your right, and it's going to be on the very right hand of this little factory place. But after that, you're going to be running just a little bit and just keep running, running. And there's going to be a house on your left up here and you want to take a right into it and the intel is going to be in between the two chairs on a little chest the third intel is going to be after you kill all the enemies in the church it, the intel is actually going to be in the church i just killed it off so it'd be a lot easier to show you uh, the intel is going to be back in the very back of the church on this little table and that's all three intel for this chapter for the next chapter mind the gap there's going to be three intel the first intel is going to be at the very beginning of the map right as you get into this room it's going to be in the dark corner pick it up the second intel on this map is going to be after you start opening these truck's doors to get the ammo. You're going to want to head over to where the stairs are. There's going to be a lot of enemies over in this area, so clear them out before you go to, over to the intel, or you're just going to die trying to get to the intel. I'm not sure what it is, but when you press start, it usually shows that you have two intel on this map, but actually there's three intel. So you just want to go into this little room, and the intel will be on this little table over here. The third and final intel on this chapter is going to be after you get that checkpoint, you're going to run up these escalators and you're going to want to clean out this room before you actually get the intel. I was just really impatient and tried to just run and just grab it. But after you kill all the enemies, the intel will be on the ground on this tiled floor below you. And that is all of the intel for this chapter. In the next chapter called Goalpost, there are three intel on this map. The first one is right after you start storming the beaches. You're going to want to start following the tanks and start following up this hill. Um, take out all the enemies that you can find up on the left side. And the intel is going to be up in this little crashed airplane up top. And it's going to be located right in the front of the nose. And that is where the first intel is. The second intel is right before you enter the tank. You're going to want to just kill off all these enemies right here. And you'll see a little barricade, a lot of trucks in the middle. And then you're going to stake to the far right where all these crates are. You're going to want to take out all the enemies right here, and the intel is going to be located right behind you on this little crate. The last and final intel on this map is going to be right before you get to the breach. 
you're going to want to just keep running, clear out all the enemies. You'll see that little, that huge pothole, and you'll see all these little cars. And the intel is going to be in the back right-hand corner in this little uh, desk. And that is all the intel on this map. This chapter called Return to Sender has three intel on this map. The first one is very early on, right after you pass all those docks, you'll come up this hill, you'll see this green car, and you're going to go into this house and go on the second floor, and the intel will be facing the opposite direction on this little desk. And the second intel on this map is going to be right as you see this little breach, you're going to want to enter it, kill off all the enemies, and the intel is going to be at the very back on this desk as well. The third and final intel on this map is going to be after you get the time limit, you're going to want to follow your teammates and do not worry about how much time you have left. You're going to clean out all the enemies in the back and then you're going to take a right into this little hut. You'll find this TV right here and the intel will be back on this table where the chair is and that is the final intel for this chapter. The next chapter is called Bag and Drag. There are four intel on this map. The first one is going to be located once you're in this little bookstore. You'll go up those stairs, take out all of these enemies. Uh, sorry I didn't take out all these enemies, forgot to. It's especially easy on recruits, so that's why you should do it if you're just going for the intel. But the intel is going to be hidden behind this little desk on the little window seal. The next intel is going to be right after you're going to get that intel. You're going to want to go through here. Uh, kill off all the enemies. You'll be in this little road area where all the cars are and the intel is going to be in this little room You'll see a little dead body laying on a couch and the intel is going to be right on this little table over here The third intel is going to be located right when you get stunned You're going to want to get yourself back up the table will drop take out all the enemies and The intel is going to be on your left over near this little generator area right on top and that's the third intel. The fourth and final intel is going to be right as you start climbing this ladder you're going to enter a room with spotlights and there's pipes all over the place all kinds of supplies. You're going to want to run up the stairs, go through this little hallway, take a left and the intel is going to be on top of all these little crates and that is the fourth and final intel for this map. The next chapter called Iron Lady has two intel. Right after you pick up the sniper you're going to want to run over here and hop into this little window in this little green area with all these plants you're going to want to go up these little staircases and the intel is going to be right on the ground the second intel is going to be at the very end of the map where you'll see the Eiffel Tower and you're going to want to take out all the enemies that you can no scope that guy just like I did and basically you're going to go into this bus and it's going to be in the very back on the ground and that's the second intel and the last intel on this map the next chapter called Eye of the Storm has two intel and right as you start sneaking around with soap, you'll enter this little building area right after it says don't shoot the sniper. And the intel is going to be on this little bar table. The last intel on this map is going to be once you start coming into this area, there's going to be a ton of enemies right there. And you're going to ambush them. And I already did that. But the intel is going to be right on this little table under the umbrella. And this is the final intel on this map. In the next chapter called Blood Brothers, there is one intel on this map. Right after you put soap down, you'll enter this room. And you'll see that protect little symbol. And you're going to take a right and see all this little arts and crafts area. And the intel is going to be in the bottom right hand corner of the little room. On the next chapter called Stronghold, there are two intel. The first one is going to be after you blow a little hole into the little wall before that and climb down. You're going to want to follow Price, kill off all the enemies, take a left. And the intel is going to be right in this little doorway on your left in the back on these little tables. The second and final intel is going to be right as you hit this checkpoint, you're going to go outside the door and into this courtyard. There's going to be tons of enemies. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to the right side, stay away from where Price is going. You'll see this yellow metal, whatever that is, take out all of your enemies, go into this little room, and the intel is going to be right on to this wooden chair or wooden table next to this little chair. And that's the final intel for this map. The next map, which is called Scorch Earth, is going to have five intel. There's going to be a loot of it, so you're going to get a lot of intel on this map. So be sure right after he pushes that guy off, you're going to want to clear off all these enemies that come down on this little ramp. And the intel is going to be in this little cubicle right to your left facing the other way. Pick that up, and that's going to be the first intel for this map. For the second intel on this map, right after you start climbing these stairs and you'll follow your teammates, you will see this little mesh top kind of area. You'll be on a roof. Uh, take cover if you need to. Kill off all the enemies. And then stay to the right side of this roof. And the intel is going to be behind this little fence, hidden really carefully. The third intel on this map is right after you start jumping off the building, after you repel off the building, you're going to want to just keep going straight. And you will see this big building. I think it's a magazine shop. But just keep on going towards it. And in the very back of the room, it's going to be facing the other direction 
on this little desk area. The fourth intel is going to be right as you start going up those stairs, you'll see this bridge. I'm going to speed it up real quick so you can actually see where to go. There's going to be tons of enemies up here, so make sure you clear all of them out. Uh, follow your teammates. You'll see this little tank area, this little tank, and then you'll go up here, kill off all the enemies. I forgot to take all these enemies out. And the intel is going to be in the back of this little corner on one of the little chairs. And the fifth and final intel for this map is going to be right as you get underground, you'll see those little arches. And you're going to climb down these stairs and just bunny hop a little bit. I don't know how I did that. That's usually PC stuff. But after he kicks the door, the intel is going to be in the corner of this little room right here. And that's the final intel for this map. The next chapter is called Down the Rabbit Hole. And there are two intel on this map. Right after you see that little tunnel area with the bright yellow, you want to climb up here, stay on the left-hand side, go into this little room, and the intel is going to be on the cabinets right here. The second and final intel is going to be right near the end of the map, or the end of the level, right as you start setting these charges. I'll put it in fast, and right as you start breaching, you're going to kill off all the enemies, and this is where you're saving the president. You'll see the president, and then you'll turn around, and the intel is going to be on this barrel in the very back of the map, and that is the final intel on this chapter. The last chapter in the campaign is called Dust to Dust. There are three intel on this map. The first one is going to be right at the beginning, right as you get in your juggernaut suit. You're going to climb this escalator. Uh, you'll see all these civilians run out. You'll see the bar back there. You'll kill all these enemies that walk out of this little room. You start heading back to the bar. You'll see this guy right here. Not sure what he's doing. He killed himself. But the intel is going to be on the bar table. The second intel is going to be located right as you get to this checkpoint and you start having a time limit. You'll enter this big room and you'll see a little poker table over here. Uh, kill off all the terrorists, or I mean the civilians. I accidentally killed them. And then just collect your earnings after you start dominating the tables on poker. The last and final intel, number big 46, is going to be right as you pass this little piano area. You're going to go through all these little glass windows. You're going to go back to this bar and the intel is going to be right in the backhand side of the bar. If you've got to a cutscene then you've absolutely went too far so you probably have to restart that chapter but guys it's all 46 intel in the Mario Kart 3 campaign you get 35 G's for it pretty good achievement called scout leader but guys I hope you like this little walkthrough that I made also if you have any Mario Kart 3 epic fails or WTF moments that you would want me to use for my top 5 WTF moments over at Yash Reloaded please send them in at yashtop5 at gmail.com and also come over to my channel at youtube.com slash silentqueef if you enjoy my commentaries but guys I hope you like this video I'm Ability and I'm out peace